Hello, my name is Naya Swindell. I am 15 years old and I am from Bronx, New York. I am working with J2 Entertainment. I cannot believe her. I mean, who the heck does she think she is? She's been here for what, like five seconds? Does she seriously think she can just walk in here, twirl her long golden hair, pout her lips, and everyone stops what they're doing just to keep her happy? No, it doesn't work like that. She's a stuck up little princess. <laughs> no, I'm not just saying that because Johnny Daniels asked her to the dance when he already asked me. I mean, why would I care that she's going to the dance with a boy I've been crushing on for three years? Because I so don't. Seriously, I don't. I mean, what is he even seeing her anyway? Yes, she may look like a Victoria's Secret model. Yes, she may be super tall and have the perfect body and the perfect hair and the perfect teeth and perfect everything, but who wants to date a Barbie anyway? But it's whatever. It's Johnny's loss. He's going to realize how much better I am than her someday. And when he does, I'll be waiting to say, sucker, you had your chance and you blew it by taking that little ignorant, self-absorbed princess instead of me. Gosh, I hate high school. Pathetic, stupid, lazy, a waste of space, ignorant, fat, ugly, should I go on? Not once have you said one nice thing about me. You've always made fun of my looks, my weight, and my lack of intelligence. And now you're here asking me for help? Me, of all people. Never once have you apologized for constantly bringing me down, constantly making me feel worthless. You have no idea how many times I've tried stopping myself, how many hours I've sat there studying and studying all through the night, how many times I've sat in front of the mirror wishing, praying to look different because of you, because of your words. And now you're here asking, pleading for my help. Why should I help you? Why should I feel sorry for you after all you put me through? I have no reason to. You have never gave me a reason to care. Quite frankly, I really should. But I guess I'm just not like you. And I don't ever want to become like you. But I'll help you. Not because you deserve my help. And not because I feel sorry for you. But because I know what it feels like to feel alone. And even though you were the reason I felt this way, you were the main cause of all my pain, and you deserve to know how that feels. I know that no one should feel that way. Not even you. Hi there, I'm Sammy Waitress. What can I get you? We have beef, pork, lamb, veal, buffalo, squirrel, and gopher. You serve gopher? No, we don't serve gopher. What's the matter with you? But you said... Quiet! Look, I'll just have a cheeseburger and some onion rings. Okay, I'll be right back with your fried gopher. I don't want any gopher. Me neither. I'm like totally allergic to gopher. One bite and my face starts winging like a fish. Hey, how about I just get you an large order of fries? Or better yet, how about I just get you one insanely large fry? Like the size of my arm. You can eat it or keep it as a pet. I just want a cheeseburger. Hey, we all want things. I wanted to move to Scotland, but you know what they said? They said, no, you can't move here. This is Scotland. We don't want you anywhere near our Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is in France. Dude, Scotland and France are like the same country. No, they're not. They're not? No, no, no. Why do I have so much trouble with geography? Why? Come on, come on, come on. Don't cry. OK, hi, I'm Sam. Would you like to try my pants? No, I just want some food. Look at me. I can act like a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Can I borrow your car? I want to speak to a manager. OK. Hello, I'm a manager. How may I help you? Oh, forget it. I lost my appetite. You lost your appetite? 